Hi darlings, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for another fashion wardrobe video here on my channel. So I've been watching lots of decluttering style videos lately, whether that's here on YouTube or Marie Kondo, and yes, I am absolutely obsessed. And it got me thinking about the things that we do not need in our wardrobe. So today's video is going to be 10 things you don't need in your wardrobe. Hopefully this video might inspire you to have a clear out of your own to avoid having quite so much clutter and therefore outfit confusion in your wardrobe. Before I get started, just to say if you are new here, then hello and welcome. I do three style focused videos every single week, so so if you'd like to see more from me at the end of this video then just hit the subscribe button and click the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos I will leave a playlist linked down below as well with videos along these kind of lines like 10 basic styling tips every girl should know 2019 trends to have in your wardrobe I do loads of videos like that and if you do enjoy this video at the end I would love it if you give it a little thumbs up so with all of that being said, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you do not need in your wardrobe, and this is certainly something that I am very guilty of holding on to, and it is excess loungewear. Firstly, loungewear is really bulky, and I'm talking about things like flannel jogging bottoms or those really cozy tracksuit bottoms, but also things like dressing gowns and hoodies. They take up so much room, and because I work from home, I do tend to wear comfy clothes quite a lot, but I wouldn't be over-exaggerating to tell you that I probably have about eight dressing gowns. No one needs eight dressing gowns. I have a bit of a problem getting rid of them because they're so cuddly and soft. I have one specifically for after I fake tanned. I have a winter one. I have a spring dressing gown. It is totally over the top. So the first product category that I really attacked during my clear out was my excess loungewear. With the pieces that you no longer decide you need in the wardrobe, especially with loungewear, there's quite a few ways you can actually repurpose these things instead of putting them in the bin or sending them straight to landfill. Of course you can take them to a charity shop or if they're in really good condition you can try selling them online. But if like me you find yourself getting rid of dressing gowns, you can use them as things like blankets for the dogs, you can even donate them to a nearby dog rescue centre or a veterinary clinic or do as I did and cut them up to make dog blankets or put them in the back of the car for those muddy paws after a dog walk. I know I've been saying this in a lot of my recent videos but I'm just going to apologise very quickly about the lighting. I do use natural light film and here in the UK it's very windy which means that it's cloud and sun, cloud and sun and my camera can't keep up so apologies about the crazy lighting. I hope it's not bothering you too much. Moving on to the second thing that you do not need in your wardrobe and it is old underwear. Another thing that we're all guilty of hoarding. Your underwear really should be throwing away, I don't recommend sending old underwear to a charity shop unless it's something that you've just never worn. Underwear we wash and wear so regularly that really I find that most knickers and bras tend to have a lifespan of around six to eight months. So anything that's no longer looking its best, just throw it away. The third thing that you don't need in your wardrobe are cheap and poor quality pieces. Now a very quick note to say that this is different to inexpensive pieces. When I say cheap and poor quality I mean those things that really after a few washes they're coming apart at the seams, they're really not holding their shape very well, they're just poor quality. So by avoiding buying those pieces in the first place and if you've been following a lot of my videos you'll know that I am really moving away from fast fashion and onto the retailers that pieces last year year after year. If you watch my video on styling spring outfits, I'm showing you how by investing in premium priced items a few years ago, those things are working really well for my spring wardrobe this year and they'll work just as well in many years to come. When you take a look at your wardrobe, if you see a lot of these cheaper items that just really don't look their best, try recycling them. I know a lot of retailers offer this such as H&M, they have recycling bins, a lot of supermarkets have clothing recycling as well, where the actual fibres can be broken down and reused used, whether that's in things like bedding or towels or dishcloths or even recycled into new clothing. Just because your clothes are falling apart doesn't mean that they can be reused in some way. I'm very conscious that it's much easier said than done, but also next time you're shopping, try to avoid picking up those cheap and low quality pieces. You can still buy inexpensive pieces from retailers like Topshop, River Island. I find that they are inexpensive, but they're still good quality pieces that will last year after year, whereas some retailers, the quality of the items just means you'll only get a few uses out of them and those pieces are ones which you do not need in your wardrobe. The fourth thing that you don't need in your wardrobe is an item that doesn't fit you very well. So whether that's something that you bought a few years ago and it's no longer looking its best because it's gone a little 
little bit loose and baggy or perhaps you bought something a pair of shoes and actually they're just too tight they're uncomfortable you don't find yourself wearing them or a pair of jeans that every time you look at them you shudder because you know how tight they are and you can't eat anything or move without losing circulation I know I definitely have a pair of jeans in my wardrobe like that but let's be honest when you are choosing your outfit for the day you're not going to be opting for things that don't fit you and even if you do things that don't fit just never look the best so it's time to get rid of them. The fifth thing that you don't need in your wardrobe is duplicates. Again, this is something that I am guilty of, but what you can do to avoid this is by doing the Marie Kondo method of getting everything out of your wardrobe and sorting into piles. So all your tops in one pile, all your jumpers in one pile, all your coats, etc. And then you can really see, oh my goodness, I have five suede skirts or I've got five white blouses that are absolutely identical. That's a really good process of taking stock of what you've got and getting rid of any duplicates. Of course, with all of these suggestions, there are exceptions and I would say if you have a uniform or a job where you have to wear something very similar on a day-to-day -day basis then yes you probably will want duplicates. Back when I used to work as a waitress I'd have a little black uh, kind of bandeau style skirt and maybe four or five very similar white blouses that I would wear with that but especially as a waitress you need to be washing your blouse every single day it gets food smells in it so if you do have a job where you have to wear a very similar item every single day then of course that is an exception to this rule. Speaking of my own wardrobe I for example have a French Connection jumper with flowers on the sleeve and I love it so much that I bought the 2017 version and the 2018 version but when it came to doing a wardrobe clear out I had to make a very tough decision because I just don't need two practically identical jumpers in my wardrobe and it's much better to give one to a charity shop or list it on my Depop by the way there are still a few items left on my Depop I'll leave it linked down below where it can go to a better home and get a lot more use. The sixth item that you don't need in your wardrobe are gift or novelty t-shirts don't know why this is such a thing but when you go to like a marathon or a charity event or you stay in a hotel over Christmas and New Year you always seem to be given a gift t-shirt and I don't know about you but I have drawers or had drawers full of them. A lot of the time it's when I've gone to for example a launch event and it's a workout perhaps and they've given you a t-shirt with the branding all over it. Yes it's really nice to wear it that one time but now I'm trying to say no to things like that, trying not to take them home in the first place because you just end up with drawers and drawers full of gift or novelty t-shirts that when do you wear them? Maybe if you're painting the house or doing some gardening, but I have old jumpers that I save especially for that kind of thing and there's just no point in stocking up on these gift or novelty items if you're not going to wear them. Number seven is along similar lines and it is sentimental pieces. These are the items that are, yes of course, really hard to get rid of because they often have a really special memory attached to them. For example, bridesmaid dresses or something you wore when you received an award or for your graduation or you had a really great meeting in that blouse and you think it's lucky for some reason. These are items that are really hard to get rid of because of the memory attached to them but if you're truly not going to wear them again then there's no point in holding on to them. They're just taking up space in your wardrobe, creating clutter, creating confusion in your wardrobe so it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> Number eight is old trend pieces that you don't love anymore or items that are really on trend at the moment but you just don't feel that they work with your personal style. A lot of the time here on my channel I recommend not buying into trends and instead investing in more classic pieces that even in five years time they're still going to be very fashionable and very stylish but if you invested in for example I don't know the chunky trainer trend but actually you come to realize that they don't suit you and they don't work with your wardrobe don't hold on to them just because they're on trend. Get rid of them, sell them online, take them to a charity shop, give them to a friend whose style they do work with and clear that space in your wardrobe. Also thinking about older trends if you really invested in I'm trying to think of a trend from a few years ago. <sighs> I'm really struggling to think of one because I really don't invest in just flash in the pan trends but say there's a trend from a couple of years ago that you absolutely love that item at the time but you can't foresee that trend coming back into style in the next five or even ten years then it's just taking up room in your wardrobe so it's probably time to move that piece on. Number nine, we're getting it towards the end now. Something else that you don't need in your wardrobe, of course, is anything with stains or anything with rips, anything that is not in good condition. Of course, I do have some tips for getting rid of stains. I'm such a huge fan of Vanish Soap, and of course, you can try sending your items to the dry cleaner, but sometimes things like foundation or set-in makeup stains or beetroot juice, things like that, if you've tried a couple of times but the stain still hasn't come out, it just looks a little bit scruffy and unkempt <laughs> to wear that out in public so yes you could keep it for your gardening or your cleaning 
wardrobe but I wouldn't recommend it instead that's the kind of piece that you should take to one of these clothing recycling bins so they can make more use out of the material. Anything that's ripped, yes, again, have a go at it with a needle and thread, but if it's really beyond repair, then it's time to get rid. And number 10, the final thing that you don't need in your wardrobe is old jewellery. Now, when I say old, this could be old in terms of style. I don't really think anyone wears hugely chunky jewellery anymore. I definitely invested in so many of these big, chunky, embellished necklaces from Zara. Do you remember when necklaces were literally so sewn onto like strips of felt as well. What were we thinking? That's not going to be looking stylish again anytime soon. So those are the kind of pieces you can send to the charity shop or tragically just have to bin them if they're not in very good condition. But also any jewellery that's discoloured, if it's gone rusty, if it is more costume jewellery, it's a little bit cheaper, then often these things are unsalvageable. But if you have invested a little bit more in your jewellery, then you can take it to a jeweller's or, for example, Monica Vinita in their Duke of York Square store, you can actually go and get your jewellery polished, make it look great again. I will leave um, a link down below as well to this certain product on Amazon which is really good at doing it yourself at home getting your jewellery looking new again but if your jewellery is beyond repair then it's time to bid it farewell. So hopefully having gone through your wardrobe and getting rid of these 10 things you don't need in your wardrobe, you'll find it a lot easier to sort through your wardrobe, you'll have so much more space, it'll be easier to find the things that you truly love and want to get more wear out of because having less clutter in your wardrobe creates a much more easy and fun experience when it comes to putting together your outfit of the day. Of course, bear in mind that you can repurpose a lot of these items, be creative and try to find ways of repurposing because of course we do want to minimise the amount of clothing that goes to landfill so recycle and repurpose where you can. I really hope you found this useful and on that last note if you've got any ideas for repurposing please let me know in the comments below. Let's share our ideas. I think that'll be really fun and useful and any tips you've got on getting rid of stains, practical things like that, please let me know. I always think that you guys have the best ideas and it's so nice to share them. If you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to give it a little thumbs up, it takes you two moments but it really really helps me out and helps me to know what kind of videos you guys love and as I mentioned if you're new here please do consider subscribing if you'd like to see more from me and I will sort out the lighting next time I promise. So that's all from me, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye!